So this is called improvising. If you don't have a cooling rack, a cookie rack, you get your piece of foil, a pretty long piece, and then you lightly crumble it up and you let your chicken or whatever you fried drip off like that. Okay, it's called improvising. Okay, look at her. Yes, yes. I'm getting ready to go out. I got a date. <laughs> I'm using this new tripod for this phone, child. So it'll take me a minute to learn how to do this. Okay. So um, I'm about to go on a date. So y'all could check my. No, I don't got my shoes on. My shoes are in the car. So I'm playing dress up. I'm playing dress up to go out on my date, honey. Okay. Still not give it back there. Let me tell you, I know that my biscuits never rose, honey. There's no yeast, no baking soda, baking powder. I just got the pancakes. And let me tell you, some people just like a little syrup with their pancakes. That's all right. I'm just giving it. Look at my little purse. Look at my little purse. Is she cute? Baby, let me tell you, you have to learn to love you. You you don't have to do nothing you don't want to, period. If you want to stay stuck, stay stuck waiting around for people to do stuff with you, then that's what you do. You're just going to be sitting around waiting till everybody else is ready. Even though you're ready, other people may not be ready because they're on a different schedule or they're doing them. So now you're sitting around sad, don't want to go out to dinner, don't want to go shopping, don't want to go to the store, don't want to do this. Baby, I'm out of here, okay? And it's not for everybody. Some people don't like to do stuff alone. Okay, and that's you. But I'm not gonna let nothing stop my show. So I saw something on Instagram and I'm getting ready to go check out this new theater. I may try to buy me a little push-up bra first though because I got a few minutes because this is not cute. <laughs> Child, I haven't purchased a bra in like years. <laughs> years and years and years and years so i got this dress honey and i wish i got a small but i sent the small back but it, i felt it was too short and baby it, it it snatched you well, okay snatch i was like oh maybe it's too tight because you know i'm still learning this thing i'll go baggy real quick so i'm still learning how to do this fitted stuff you know new year new me <laughs> but ain't she cute I got this purse from Sam. It's a store out here in the Woodlands Conroe area called Sam Moon. And I wanted a little clutch, but I wanted something that was a little fun. I didn't want regular. Y'all know I ain't regular. You, you already know that. And I ain't. So I picked this one up when I went out and I had the black dress. So anyway, I got this dress from Shape LLX. And that's the name of the company. And it's supposed to snatch you in. So when I returned the other dress, I was like, oh, I'm going to get another color. I'm going to get a different length. I want it a little longer, you know, make it a little classy, okay? And so I got this dress in a medium. Remember I was talking about I got the small, extra small, if you follow me. You follow me, if you do, you do. You know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. Some people are like, Joy, why you don't have more subscribers? Some people are like, I don't know why you're on YouTube. 
because that's my business and why I don't have more subscribers because it's not my time and I'm not always consistent and so things don't always work out with the algorithm so I try but y'all know my brain and then when school starts and the parents starts complaining and the kids are complaining that it's too much work no you should have done the work when you had an opportunity to do the work in the class but you chose not to do the work and talk to your friend over there so therefore the work is backing up and backing up and backing up anyway slow down joy Ooh, I ain't take no medicine in a while, y'all. You know what? My doctor won't give me any more of my medicine for my ADHD. I have to have it before school starts. The anxiety that builds up just before school starts is terrible. Because, you know, I'm hoping that it's going to be a good year. That I'll, I'll be a good teacher. It's just, it's just something about the three weeks leading up to school starting which is the, right here so i go to the doctor i can't get an appointment with my doctor my regular doctor until august 25th how i'm gonna go to school and then take off soon as school starts anyway i am taking off the day after school starts for the kids when the kids go back i'm taking out because i've been asked to come back to this organization to speak to the kids and they was like I'm the only one that they asked to come back I was like mm -mm, you just saying that trying to butter me up so I did um let the new principal know before the school year ended that I need to take off that day so it's not like it's something new so it is what it is I will not be there the second day of school because I'll be speaking to other little babies okay and I feel as though the kids shouldn't be crazy because everybody's new so I'm not too worried about it now. If it was in the middle of the year, I don't like to leave my babies. I don't like to leave them at all because they act the fool when I'm not there. They just do. I don't care. So anyway, and I don't like to leave them. So anyway, I'm going on a date, okay? I'm going on a date with me. And it's a new restaurant. Well, they have a restaurant where you can order food and they'll come deliver your food and stuff. And I have my sweater in the car if I get cold. So anyway, back to the, oh my God, joy, joy. One at a time. One at a time. <laughs> Sometimes this is how my day is. At oh my god. Okay. So anyway, the dress is Shape LLX. You go to shapellx.com and it's supposed to be um, body con and it's supposed to snatch you in. But honey, this medium is not snatching anything. I should have got a small. I didn't think the medium dress and the longer length would make a difference in the snatchness. And I was eating so i wanted to eat before i left but i wanted to try something at the movie theater but now i don't think i am because i'm not hungry yeah it's not snatching it's not giving a snatched now if i was a little bigger honey it would snatch okay so i would need the small extra small in this length dress but i think i want to go to target and get a little bra that has like some lace or something okay I feel like, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm you know, just feeling, feeling for me. And I, I did all this for me. Yes, I can. I want to thank me <laughs> and my creator <laughs> and my mama with the good genes and my daddy. I don't know. So I guess you had good genes, too. So, you know, the genetics. Okay. The D and the A is working. Okay. You know what? I went to see Sydney. You know, and I don't know. This eye seems a little puffy. I don't know. I got, it's just puffy. Anyway, I went to see Sydney. I drove three and a half hours to see her for her birthday. Bought her a whole bunch of snacks for her that she didn't say, oh, she sees her friend. She's like, oh, we got snacks. We good on snacks. I'm going to say, I went to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's for those expensive snacks for you. But you know, Jesus, Sharon is caring. <laughs> And it was an expensive trip, but we did get our nails. I do love my nails. I feel like I'm whole again. Okay, I'm whole. Purr, purr. So anyway, right? Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna have to color my hair. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So back to Sydney, right? So Sydney was like, you know, I met some of her friends. I met a few of them. 
I didn't want to go into the church and make it a whole big big deal and stuff. So I didn't go inside the church. So we, you know, we did our little thing, whatever. And when we got our nails done, some of her friends were in there getting pedicures and stuff. Oh, I need a pedicure. So anyway, some of her friends were in there getting pedicures and stuff. And some of them got the nails done too. So that was our treat. So we had mommy, a mommy daughter date for nails. They cute. She did a good job too. Yes, she did. Yes, she did, sis. Look at that. Ooh, against this pretty skin. This caramel, honey. This caramel. Okay. All right. So, mm-hmm. <coughs> um, you about to be sick of me. Sick of me. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, then I so I talked to her today. And so, the day after I visited her, I said, so what your friend say about your mom? Oh, your mom came up. She was like, oh, your mom, I didn't expect her to look like that. She's young. And then she's like, not really. She didn't have to say all that, you know? <laughs> no, she not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's all right. Let me go on this date, y'all. Let me go ahead and go on this date. Because, you know, I love me. <laughs> I love me. Let me tell you, the one thing not about not being in a relationship, hunty, you don't argue with nobody. You don't gotta be suspicious of nobody. You ain't waiting on nobody to call you. You're not thirsty for anybody to call you. You're not thirsty or hungry to be with nobody because you like your peace. And that, let, me tell, let me tell you something about peace. Let me say, I got a few more minutes. So I'm moving my classroom and I volunteered to move my classroom. Is it going to be a lot of work? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's a part of protecting my peace and the energy that's around my aura. I want my aura to be at peace. Any negative vibes or anything that makes me feel comfortable, I want to rebuke it in the name of Jesus. So I've chosen to move down a different hall. Do I know was waiting for me down that hall? No, I do not. But that's what change is about. It's about taking risks. It's about being uncomfortable. It's about setting new goals for yourself and stepping outside of your comfort zone. Because as long as you're always in your comfort zone, it's hard to grow or to experience new things. And I kind of still feel that way with my travel. I haven't experienced anything. I still haven't done anything. I just feel like, there's so much I want to do. So I was talking to one of my old co-workers today on the phone, child. Yes, I did. I actually spoke to them on the phone. <laughs> and it's one of my older friends. <laughs> AJ Navadamba. She older than me. So sweet, 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 sweet lady. So I guess she ain't into texting and all that stuff. So I talked to her for a little bit. I said, girl, you, I got to go. I'm going on a date, honey. She was like, really? Where? <laughs> to the movies. I'm taking myself out. And I may even get a drink. Because you can buy a drink. They are making me a little margarita. Margarita. Ma -ma margarita. And you know why I already forgot the point I was trying to make? I don't know. She was upset that she's not going to be at my school. And I was like, honey, you need to change your thinking and understand that rejection is sometimes for your protection. Maybe being at the school. I said, honey, maybe you were there to meet me. 
because I've inspired her. I encourage her to hang in there with school. She wants to be a teacher. She's like, I want to be a teacher. I want a classroom like yours. Blah, 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 blah. So I was like, maybe is that, maybe you were there just to meet me for that little bit of time. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you were made to feel uncomfortable. You were angry when you left. So why would you want to come back? So it's time for you to move on. And I gave her some suggestions on her new position that she's going to have. Um, and so I was like, everything happens for a reason. If you didn't get that job, that boy or girl didn't call you, um, something didn't work out, with whatever it is. Sometimes when something does not work out, it is for your protection or it is to turn you down a new direction. Okay? Because you wouldn't have gone down that new direction if you were comfortable. So when you sometimes, when you are so uncomfortable, it forces you to change. Because I don't care. My peace is worth everything. That positive vibe, that positive energy. And some people may not be into the energy and the vibe. I'm old, okay? I'm older. I'm refined, okay? Maybe I shouldn't say old maybe i should just say refined you know, like a good bottle of wine honey yes like a good bottle of wine yes so i'm refined okay in the little ghetto it is what it is and you've been through stuff and you've experienced the valleys and the mountain tops and you've been down and you've been up you know what you like you know what you don't like and you know what you're going to what you're willing to tolerate and my piece for me if it doesn't feel right I don't want that energy around me I don't want to have someone or something around me that does not feel right and that is my choice so people want to call you difficult when you don't want something or you say no or you're doing something else because you're not doing what they want you to do but at the end of the day you have to live with you okay and if it makes me feel i don't even care if it's a student and that's why i'm upset miss anderson is not going to be there my sister teacher i'm going on my fifth year at this school and i say out of the four years there have been about three students their energy I, it I couldn't do it. It was just something about their spirit, their energy, their vibe. It just, we weren't, we weren't on the same wavelength. They were on a different frequency than I was. And their frequency was right here and mine was up here. And I would tell you, I did get them out of my class. It's just, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't be around that energy I didn't want around me. And uh, Miss Anderson, bless her heart, she took the students for me. So it was just a lateral change because we were both seventh grade. So they were seventh grade, so they just moved over. And lo and behold, those students that I transferred, eventually they led down a wrong path. It was just, ooh, mm -mm, I can't do it. It's like, on a different frequency and when that frequency is not vibing with my frequency I have to go or you have to go and that's that is what it is am I wrong for that for protecting my energy and my peace if you want to say I'm wrong go right ahead but my peace is important for me baby I lived in the valley I've experienced the valley I experienced the mental the physical abuse of various valleys and I know I don't want to be there. So, with that said, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. It's 5.20. Mm -hmm. I still got a few minutes to run into Tarjay. Find me a little better looking. I'm a little looking bro. Okay. Oh, so I was talking to my friend. I still forgot what I was going to talk to y'all about. And she was like, and I showed her a picture of the outfit, right? And she was like, oh, where'd you get your hand up? I want to get that. I was like, henna where? Henna where? I said, no, honey, that's the real thing. Okay, she's like, oh, yes, henna where, boo, henna where? Yeah, she's still looking good. I still feel like I want to go up, y'all. I know y'all probably going to feel like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. That's because that's not what you would do. But you have to know me, my personality. What would Joy do? You know, we different. You know what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? But I just 
feel like, oh, I saw this girl, baby. Talk about, oh, 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 she just looked, woo, she was just everything, honey. Her tat, she had it way up here. I don't know what we have to, maybe I could do some darker here, like my double chin. Oh, get the double chin, child. Get it snatched. See, get her snatched. <laughs> so, anyway, I just feel like. I already pushed the envelope. Just push it a little more. This is what I wanted originally. I wanted something on my neck, okay? So don't think think outside of yourself, okay? I just feel like I wanted it up just a little more. Just up a little more. You know, just that cutting edge, okay? And you do know I'm working on full sleeve, so not what you would do, but I'm crazy. It, it is what it is. So I'm working on full sleeves. So... I started at the lower so I, this right here still needs to be fit like it needs to bleed into here but I do like the negative space when I say negative space I'm talking about my skin I'm talking about where you can still see my skin so that's why it probably looks like him yeah, but I just feel like I want to go up a little more like maybe to here oh this line right there <laughs> maybe that line. <laughs> Let's get this one right there. Wait a minute. Ooh, look at these teeth. Oh, honey, I want to get my teeth whitened. That's what I wanted there. <laughs> and my face keeps, is opening back up, y'all. <laughs> That's what I want to get. <laughs> I wear my retainer, but it's not closing the space. So anyway, I want to go up here. And then I kind of want to go want to go on the shoulder girl i just don't know let me get up out of here playing with y'all i done missed the movie in my whole day talking to y'all but let me go honey let me step honey step 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 but honey you need to go out there and date yourself okay don't wait around you can do it do whatever the hell you want to do you know that right but if, Wait around for somebody to do stuff with you. Honey, date you. Go out to a nice dinner with you. Honey, and then if you have an ear, like one little, what are those things? Those little listening things. I forgot. Earbuds or something? Airpods. You have one of those little airpods in, baby. You could be listening to an audio book. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let me get my tail out of here. Let's see what I can find from Target. <laughs> and I got a sweater in the car, so I'll bring my sweater inside with me. Get cozy for the movie. Oh, 